We're just back from three weeks in New Zealand visiting friends. And after the three weeks in New Zealand, we spent a night at the Quality Inn in the New York City metropolitan area. It's really pretty noisy, so if we look exhausted, it's because we're exhausted. <laughs> Care to comment? Well, it was easier going to New Zealand for some reason. Coming back is not as easy. It's, well, it's four in the morning or something right now for my brain. <laughs> It was a 17 hour flight direct from JFK in New York City to Auckland in New Zealand. And 17 hours is a long time to sit on one flight. Had a good experience both ways though. Way better than stopping once or twice along the way. And the potential for missing baggage or missing the flight completely is reduced by having it just be a direct flight so that was the good news we had a wonderful time visiting friends and yes it was exhausting but seems to be the nature of our lives these days mm. sheer exhaustion sort of teetering between mm. exhaustion and sheer exhaustion how did you feel about landing in new zealand and having a microphone stuffed in your face well i'm fly paper for media personalities <laughs> apparently so <laughs> one of the five videos that you'll find at guymcpherson.com coincident with the release of this video is upon landing and as soon as we walked out of the security area got through immigration customs and so on and stepped us and suddenly there's a microphone sticking right in my face and there's a woman who says may I ask you a couple of questions and I said yes Two, but that was one, so you've only got one question left. <laughs> Oddly, that didn't make the editing room floor. It yeah. got cut out before yeah. it got into their video. Right, it made the editing room floor. Right. <laughs> it mopped up the floor. In any event, so that's one or maybe two of the videos. I'm not really sure. Got a few. If that made it into one or two, the interview. I mean, there are two videos. Room. There's the one that was on TV that was broadcast. Okay. And then there's the one that I shot while they were interviewing you okay. from the side. So that's two of the five. In addition, I've added text, one to a blog post because the original post had poor audio quality and one to the text of the video itself because that was a shorter video and so it was relatively easy for me to copy the text into that video. So both of those are included within this blog post as well. So there's five videos from our trip to New Zealand and also a couple of improvements to previous videos, all indicated as such in the blog post at guymcpherson.com. What was your favorite part of the trip? Oh, there's no question. We went on a dolphin watch and saw many bottlenose dolphins, which was a surprise to the people on the... The people who run the boat. Who run the who run boat. The, yeah. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> two of them were graduate students majoring, majoring in oceanography or something related. Marine biology. Uh, marine biology, yeah. right. And so they were stunned to see so many bottlenose dolphins in one place. And they're protected in New Zealand. So we couldn't hang out with them. We kept trying to get away with them and they kept following us. The dolphins really wanted to be on film, I think. Yeah, I think so. Because <laughs> you know those bottlenose dolphins, oh, they're yeah. just narcissists. Flipper, it's all flippers. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, they managed to, we managed to escape from them or we were not in an area where we're filming the bottlenose dolphins anymore. And we found Instead, we went to a different place and found common dolphins, and not just a few. Hundreds. Hundreds it, the, of common The dolphins. ocean was literally boiling with them. It was out of a cartoon. It was incredible. Uh, they were, you know, five or six at a glance, swimming in the waves and leaping out of the water and babies with them, and it was incredible. And then in addition to mm. those hundreds, of dolphins. There were gannet birds, the seabirds, it's a, it's a variety of uh, seagull. They were, um, actually they were the 
the key to finding those dolphins because they feed on the same seafood, the same fish. So they were, so the people running the tour were looking for the gannet birds because they knew that if they found those, they would find the common dolphins. And boy, were they right. It was, it was miraculous. It we was also really miraculous. We also saw a couple of blue penguins, little blue penguins, yes. which are relatively unusual. I've only ever seen them in New Zealand on one or two of the previous visits, as they well were, as on this one. They were very tiny <clears> and <throat> quick. So it was very difficult to get a shot of them. I, I still have to go through my film and see if I got anything of them because they were really small and really cute. But. After one of the staff told me what to look for, mm -hmm. I saw a couple of the common dolphins having sex. And oh, yeah. man, they do not have any staying power at all. <laughs> <laughs> it lasts about a second. You have to really keep an eye on, oh, was that it? <laughs> very impressive. <laughs> They're all about riding the waves. <laughs> the sex thing is like, ah, whatever. <laughs> Second hand. Anyway, we had a wonderful trip. Thanks mm -hmm. very much to our hosts who are included in one of the five videos with conversation, including them mm -hmm. and us. And I think that's, that's all I have to say. That's it. That's all I have to say. All right. <laughs> wonderful trip. And we survived another one. Yes. Thank long you to flight, everyone who made it trip. possible. Yes. Really. Big thanks to everybody who made it happen. And thank Most you. Most notably, Kevin and Lee. Yes. And, and thank you to the beautiful country of Aotearoa, uh, which means the uh, land, land of the long white oh, cloud. It's beautiful. And the culture there is incredible. The Maori culture is something for everyone to look into and learn about. It's, it's just stunningly beautiful and rich and has many, many interesting pathways for everyone to benefit from. So please take a look at GuideMeChristian.com upon release of this video and take a look at those videos that we shot along the route and join in our adventure, albeit vicariously. Thank you.